Today, South Florida and the nation are honoring our nation's veterans across our area and the country. Events are being held where they're being recognized. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live right now in Miami Beach where a parade is underway. Gabby? Well, Elliot, hundreds of participants and supporters came out to take part in the parade. The procession actually did just pass by us here at Michigan, uh, excuse me, Washington and 17th Street. Now they're all headed over to Flamingo Park. They're going to have a wreath laying ceremony there. They're also going to have some parachuters. And the event is all about giving thanks to our vets. Miami Beach goes red, white, and blue to celebrate the men and women who protect our freedom. To honor our veterans that have served, those that are currently serving, though that, those that have served, but more importantly, just to let the everybody know that we appreciate their sacrifices and what they've done. As floats and performers made their way down Washington Avenue, supporters saluted our vets and gave thanks. It means really everything to us. It means that we get to have our freedom, and because of them, because of their hard work, their dedication, and their commitment to this country to protect us. I appreciate the vets, you know, putting their lives on the line. Today's parade also had a touch of history. This is the Army, Mr. Jones. Back in the 1940s, Miami Beach was the training ground for air servicemen. Many hotels were used as housing for the troops while they trained during World War II. Before the war's end, one quarter of all the Army and Army Air Corps officers and one fifth of the enlisted men had trained at Miami Beach. Elizabeth Brooken's husband is a veteran and two of her kids are currently enlisted. It's awesome. I'd like to see uh, as much support as possible, not only today, but throughout the entire year because, you know, um, these are our children overseas and uh, or here in our home country protecting our rights. Proud to have served, veterans say they appreciate the recognition from their community. I did it for the country. So, yes, it gives me honor to have served and I feel honored when people say you served. And this isn't the only event going on today. There are several different Veterans Day events going on throughout the day. You can head to our website, cbsmiami.com, for a list of those. We're live from Miami Beach. Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News.